have aluminum rims and what we're going to do is we're just going to take these rims off and we're going to show you, go ahead, we're going to show you how to be able to take the rims off and then from there we're going to show you what it takes to get the tire off of the rim. Now really important things, you always want to have a magnet and see if these rims are aluminum. If they're a steel rim, you're really not going to want to waste your time taking these off. Now sometimes, Christian, will you take these tires and they have resale value, right? Because you guys can sell these as either retreads or secondary markets? Yes, that's correct. Okay. They'll put them right out on the rack and... And they'll sell them for whoever comes. Yeah. So it's really important, Scrappers, if you have cars that have good tires, many, many times those tires can be resold. I remember myself, I had a car accident years ago and I had just put brand new tires on the car. I coincidentally had the older ones I was able to switch out. So what's the first thing you're doing here? The first thing I'm doing is uh, removing the valve cord. That way I can get all the air out of the tire. And it makes it easier to remove off. That's correct. Because there's no more air left in that tube. And it makes it easier for me to break the bead off on the tire. Now some of the old tires that can't be resold, will they also be recycled? Yes, they will also be recycled. So they'll get picked up and probably shredded, have the steel pulled out, and a lot of, I know I know that they're now using this rubber in playgrounds, That's or underneath play sets, things like that, or track and field, stuff like that, right? Yes. Awesome. So now what are you doing? You drained the air out of it, what are we doing next? Next I'll, I'll put my tire right here. And then this is what's gonna break the bead on what, the tire. Okay, what is this? This is called the tire remover, this whole piece of equipment you have here? Yes, with okay. this machine right here, I can um, remove and install tires. Awesome, let's check it out. Right now, I'm pressing the foot pedal to depress the machine so I can break the bead. Right here, I was able to break this side of the bead. Okay. And then I release it, and then I rotate it. And you do it on both sides to make it a little looser all the way around. That's Now is this machine operated off of compressed air with a pedal? How are you doing this? Uh, yes, this machine is actually hooked up to the air compressor. Okay. And uh, it's all uh, air operated. No, no electric on this tool. There is actually an electric motor that spins the table for when I go to remove the tire. Got it. Next step would be to clamp the wheel to the machine it would be with this middle um, foot pedal right here. I press it and then it locks it in place so it's tight to the machine. Next I'll take this arm and set it right to the wheel, to the edge of the wheel. Okay. I'll adjust it right here with this knob. And the next step I will use my tire lever and then I'll put it right in between the tire and the foot of the machine. As, a, as like a press point. As a press point. Got it. And then just apply it back. And then the next step would be to rotate the table of the machine with this last foot that over right here. Okay. Also, make sure to keep your hands clear from the foot as it rotates. Okay. The first part of the tire is already off. Now I just have to remove the second part. Awesome. And that will be the same thing for the second part of the beam. Having the right tool scrappers makes all the difference. Look at that. No saws, no cutting, no pain, no nothing's hurt on him. Tire is off, rim is released. And there you go. Now from here, the only other things that we could clean would be taking the valve off. That's correct. And where are the wheel weights on this? The wheel weights, um, they normally could be on the outside. Okay. On this, on this particular one, they're, they're not on here. So no wheel weights on this one. Just one on the inner Oh, part there of it the is. Wheel. And so these you want to take off if you're selling these for scrap because you don't want lead on top of these and also if there's a plastic cover or anything all of that wants to be needs to be removed in addition to the valve. So here you can have this little piece of plastic removed. You're going to take and how would you get that valve off? To get the valve off on this particular one it would be um, either a 12 millimeter, 11 millimeter okay. socket and then just unscrew it 
and it just gets taken apart from there. So this is the tool to remove the wheel weight. With this point, I will insert it into the wheel weight, right in, right in this little hole, and then get a clamp, get a grip on it, and then pull it right off like that. I like to put all the wheel weights in this barrel right here. Hey scrappers, we know how good you are at having things separated and they don't do anything different when it comes to auto wreckers. So right here I'm removing the valve stem. Okay. Now this is the sensor, I believe, that monitors the air pressure on all the different vehicles. That's correct. So some of the newer vehicles will have these, but do you have any older vehicles here that yeah. we could show? Perfect, another Toyota, same size, but there's no sensor on this side, so this would have been an older car. I would um, cut it off since it's not gonna be reused. Got it, I'll this is it. a reusable piece. That is reusable. This has yeah. value at the auto wreckers, and that's why you resell them. Yeah. So if scrappers ever get these, this is not something you just wanna throw away. This could be worth 20, 30, 40 bucks maybe. Yes, that's correct. Per sensor. Per sensor. And yes. on a piece like this, because there's no sensor, while you could use a tool, you would normally just cut it off because you're not reusing this valve. That's correct. Awesome, let's move on. Okay, now on the, the Prius, we saw a small lead acid battery. Can you show me where the big battery is on this vehicle? On this Thanks for watching our video. For $2.99 a month, by becoming a member, you can get access to early videos, member only videos, merchandise discounts from our store and priority comments that we answer before answering any other scrappers. Click the link below to learn more. Until next time, scrap you later.